Chris, I was looking at stakeholder gold online today. And did I read this correct? You only have 13 million shares outstanding? The 13.4 million shares, Tracy, yeah. So Very tightly held, sorry. Why would you only have 13.4 million shares outstanding? And what was the objective in creating such a, such a tight capital structure? Tightest capital structure we could arrange in order to uh, be able to, you know, uh, achieve a higher share price with with positive out business outcomes. So we do that by um, having uh, having consolidated the shares a couple times, and also having cash flow, significant cash flow enough that allows us to prevent uh, diluting shares for maintenance, corporate maintenance purposes, etc. So we're cash flow positive for the project that we put into the company. It allows us to uh, to keep this um, very tight capital structure with a view to re-rating higher when we have success in our gold exploration. I saw that, and I heard you when you said cash flow. When you look up stakeholder gold, two things pop up everywhere in Google search, cash flow and exploration upside. Where do you want to start? Jeez, uh, oh, okay, well, cash flow. Cash flow, uh, we, put, we put together this project in Brazil. It surprised us. Um, uh, we're, we're querying at $300 a cubic meter is our cost, and we're selling for $2,000. Um, and it's been very, very profitable. One quarry. So we're now set to expand several more quarries. It's an exotic blue stone um, and, and um, fantastic margins. So generating great profit, able to, um, uh, you know, we bought lots of equipment there. We've paid for an office. We've, um, uh, we have uh, plenty of uses for this cash and it certainly provides a robust enough cash flow for us to uh, uh, avoid uh, diluting the shares unnecessarily uh, for corporate purposes. Um, that was the original intent. It surprised us with the, uh, the, the extent of which uh, it was, uh, you know, it, we had interest in the quarry and um, um, we, we now see opportunities to expand that business. So that's the cash flow side. It's in Brazil, run by people that we know. We've known for quite a significant period of time. I have a great working relationship. And um, the, um, the expiration um, element of the deal is uh, Stakeholder Gold Corp has a stake in the White Gold District of the Yukon Territory of Canada, perhaps the most uh, exciting gold jurisdiction in the last cycle, towards the end of the last cycle. And we're well positioned right in the middle of it with, um, um, with about 18,000 hectares of ground, uh, potential for significant multiple anomalies um, that, and we'll be able to uncover quickly this summer and uh, an extensive road being developed right through the property. Number of characteristics that can um, that can merit uh, a very strong revaluation for the company. So our objective was to achieve this revaluation, uh, maintain the tightest discipline of capital structure, which allows to, you know, have the most material percentage revaluation of share price when we have success in our program, in our exploration program. That makes sense. It does. So did I hear you right when you said tightest discipline of capital structure? Is that what you said or model? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the model. So, 13.4 okay. million shares out if we can achieve uh, our objectives uh, our, 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 over the next two years with 15 million shares outstanding, um, you know, we could be looking at, at multifold revaluation from our 80, 80 cent to dollar share price today. Our targets are significantly higher in the double digits of dollars. Uh, that would be our objective, by which I mean 15 plus if we're successful in our exploration program. Well, you've heard it here at Investor Intel. And for more information, please go to the Stakeholder Gold website. Chris, thank you for joining us. We're going to really look forward to the next update from you. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Thanks.